All right, these are the type of videos I just genuinely don't understand how they end up on the internet because it's like, you can watch this, at least I can watch this, and I'm just like, how do you think this is acceptable? Pretty much anyone involved in the creation of a video like this, and trust me, there's plenty of them online at this point, you would think that just through like common sense skills, which they must not have, you'd be able to look at this and be like, yeah, maybe we not only shouldn't do this, but we also probably, if we're going to do something this weird, probably shouldn't upload it onto the internet so literally everybody in the world can see it. But I guess a little bit of a logic will go out the window sometimes when you're trying to get a viral video on the internet or whatever. So uh, yeah, man, you know, you'll see these videos, and I've covered these in the past, of women just doing some just reckless things in order to do, I do what? I don't know. I mean, it just, it depends, I guess. Sometimes they think they're making some point that they're really not. In fact, often they're actually making the opposite point because of what transpires in the video. Uh, a lot of the time they just simply want attention, views, and clout, which I guess inadvertently I'm giving to the people involved in this video by even covering it, but... I just want everyone to realize uh, one quick thing about this video before we even really get into it. Just realize that if I, Optimus, decided to go onto public transportation and, and did something like this, you would be seeing a drama alert episode where I have a $100,000 bail because I'm in jail. You know what I'm saying? That rhymed, by the way. But, like, I would be in jail. Like, there's no doubt about it, dude. Because if, if a dude ever tried even jump, like, the moment that his feet left the ground, you know what I'm saying? There would be police on the scene, okay? But, you know, a woman does it this time around, therefore it's supposed to be acceptable or it's supposed to be funny. I'm not really sure. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at this. I'm just warning you, it, it's pretty weird. It's pretty cringy. So uh, if, if you're not ready for that, I guess, go ahead and prep yourself mentally before we get into this. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think that this is very weird, and I think that this isn't something that should be glorified, and I don't think that this is even b really legal behavior, if we're being honest. So, I want everyone to notice how genuinely uncomfortable pretty much every man in this video looks, you know what I'm saying? And I know there's going to be a lot of people out there who literally just watch Pornhub 24 hours a day and think that literally anything in your personal life should be turned into a sex scene. People are just trying to ride the public transportation, dog. This is not some fake taxi, any type of behavior. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about people coming home from work, school, whatever, right? They're just trying to get back to their regular lives. They're trying to go home. They're trying to go out and get a bite to eat before they have to go home and, and live pain for the next five days of the week. And you got this woman jumping into their laps on the train. They don't know this woman, I would assume, unless it's staged, with their, which honestly there is a possibility it is. Who would be honestly comfortable with that? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it just, it's a very weird scenario and it screams set up from the jump. I mean, this is like them shits where they'll leave like a car, and what they call them, like a bait car or whatever. They'll leave like a Ferrari with the keys in it and the engine not turned on but the door wide open so they can get somebody to try and steal it or whatever so they can arrest them. That's what this screams. Like, what the fuck is this to begin with? So, pretty much everyone's uncomfortable. They physically have to remove her, which is even worse. So, uh, just think about that, right? Think about the, think about the concept of this being flipped back around. Imagine, let's say, I don't know, right? There's some lovely young females just riding the train, you know, uh, coming home from school, getting ready to go to work, doing something, right? You know, just trying to mind their own business and live their lives. It, what would you guys think would happen if a guy got on the train and he had his buddy sitting across filming him basically jump on top of them, you know what I'm saying? On the train in front of everybody in broad daylight, just jumping on top of women. Very obviously sexually charged, you know what I'm saying? Just getting on top of them. If the woman didn't mace him in his face, rightfully so, they'd have like a fucking dog catcher net over this dude's head dragging him down the street while people stand aside and stone him from the sidewalk screaming shame. But I mean, if it's a semi-attractive woman doing it, you know, then it's supposed to be funny and it's comedy, especially if it's towards men, regardless of how uncomfortable they are with the situation, regardless if consent was asked, regardless if she has to literally be physically removed from them because she's invading their personal space. 
and borderline, if not fully sexually assaulting them on the public transportation. Never mind all that because it's a funny TikTok hee hee ha ha hoo hoo moment. You know what I'm saying? At this point, dude, if Trump really does get that TikTok banned through, are we really losing out? You know what I'm saying? When there's shit like this going on? No, but I'm dead serious, bro. And, and, and everyone knows this, but most people don't want to say anything about it. You already fucking know. If there was a video that got uploaded to Twitter of some psychopath guy running around doing this, th there would be petitions. They would have found his workplace. They'd have found his home address. His whole personal life would have been ruined. He'd be on the news. Presidential candidates would be denouncing him on Twitter. They'd be writing global treaties in his name trying to ban him from moving across international lines and using public transportation in multiple countries. The next G2 summit they'd start off with saying we denounce this motherfucker's behavior. Elon Musk, when he finally lands human beings on Mars, they'd plant a big sign with this guy's face on it and say he's permanently banned from the planet. And you already know that's what would happen, right? Because it's not okay if a man does that. But you know, if a woman does it for a funny TikTok, then all of a sudden we're talking okay. Now, thankfully, a lot of people have spoken out against this, right? Like a lot of people who've seen this video acknowledge the fact that it's just fucking weird. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you an excerpt of a video that I made barely even about two months ago at this point, August 9th, 2020. It really hasn't even been that long. For some reason, this seems like it's some sort of like internet trend. Like this is like videos that people are doing now and like this is something that people think is cool. I'm not sure, but go ahead and take a look. I mean, it's not, it's not some one-off clip. Like, this is, like, genuinely happening on TikTok. This is something that is actually going on over there, and I'm not sure what people are thinking about this. I'm not sure why more people aren't calling these fucking idiots out. I'm not sure if the, t I, I don't know, because, like, I don't sit there on TikTok and look for these videos to find the comments or anything like that. It's not that deep, you know what I'm saying? But I can't hope, at least, that the comments are very positive towards this kind of behavior. But I mean, knowing knowing TikTok, they fucking very well could be. I'm just not sure how this is supposedly acceptable. You know what I'm saying? How, how are people, like, like, on the train, right? How are people not seeing this and saying something? You know what I'm saying? If I'm riding the fucking train and, you know, some guy jumps on top of a woman, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to do my best to physically remove her from that situation, right? Like, I'm gonna pull the dude off, or at least try to. I mean, I might get fucking, you know, sent to the gulag with a shank, but, like, I, I wouldn't want to just sit there and watch something like that happen. But, I mean, you know, people see a woman do this on the train, and people are just like, oh, you know, another fucking day in Los Angeles or whatever, right? Like, like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? How do people not see this and just, like, get confused or, like, say something or speak out or do something? I don't know. I don't get why people have such a problem with just keeping your fucking personal space to yourself and not touching other people. First and foremost, it's about basic respect. It's not even the fact that it's sexual, really. That does play a big part into it. It's about basic respect. Don't touch other people. Don't touch people without consent. Don't jump into people's laps. Do not put strangers in uncomfortable positions when their lives are probably already shit. Don't use some fucking guy trying to ride the train home from his dead in nine to five job as TikTok content so you can assault him. I feel like that's just basic demeanor, you know what I'm saying? Me as a man, I know a lot of people would like to make you believe that like I would just be on the train just, you know, grabbing everyone in sight, but I promise you it's really not a problem to just keep your fucking hands to yourself and, and mind your own business. But apparently p some people just don't get the memo. And it isn't even just about clips like this. I don't want my family members touching me. I don't want my shoulders padded. You know, that shit gets reserved for your, for your girl. You know what I'm saying? Don't touch me. That, it's that simple. Especially as a stranger on the train. You know what I'm saying? I, I know I say that a lot, but like, God damn, dude. You know, I'm driving home a point here. That vacation really did something to me. But it's just like, I, I don't understand how people don't get it. And plus, we're in a global pandemic, bro. It's like, I really don't want to catch Rona because you decided that you wanted to do softcore porn for TikTok. Like, can we please settle down? I'm riding the train trying to go home to my lovely wife and kids and not give them corona, so can we please go ahead and settle down with the contact? We're only in a global pandemic, so 
I don't know, dude. I don't understand it. I I wish more people would speak out about things like this. I mean, I feel like this is the kind of stuff that you see that people don't talk about, right? You know, there's all this awareness for everything, which is good. But then you see a situation like this and it's apparently acceptable to the point where like it can go viral on TikTok and people don't really bat an eye to it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people on Twitter said something, thankfully, but you know, that doesn't really gauge the entire reaction to the video. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to optimus Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus Well, just leaving people the fuck alone and signing out.